Okay, here we are for the part that I've been waiting for all day. The sun is finally off the garden and it is time to get some seeds in the ground. Now the great thing is, is that I have already prepared the soil for the most part. There's a few things I need to trim out um, and move around, but really I have already prepared the soil with compost in the fall. So most of the beds are just ready to plant into. Um, these poor brassicas, I have no idea what is eating them. Do you see those? Oops, you're gonna tip over. Um, I have no idea what is eating them so badly, but this poor little thing, my brassicas usually do beautiful in the spring, but I guess overwintering them here is just not ideal because it's um, look at that. So every leaf eaten. I've got a nice set of little heads who are trying to flower, but there is nothing going to come off of this plant. So I'm going to have to, all of my winter brassicas, all of my winter brassicas, all of them, every single one looks like this. Don't have these problems with the brassicas in the spring. And I have overwintered broccoli, etc. before not had this issue so I have no idea what's doing this but I'm gonna have to be keeping a close eye out for bugs this spring apparently Ooh. okay so I am gonna go grab my seeds actually I need to get the hose set up then I'm gonna grab my seeds and then I'm gonna plant some of the things in the garden Ooh. Okay, as you can hear, it is now time to mow, which means it's not a great time to film. So I'm going to plant some seeds. I'm just going to run this. I'll probably fast forward the whole thing. You may not ever see this. Who knows? I'll decide when I'm looking at it and seeing what you can see. But right now, I'm going to get some seeds into these raised beds. Yes! And notice I gave up on the gloves. They didn't help anyway. Okay, so these little suckers, well, these little things, I think are celery, and I planted them last August and nothing really happened. Um, but there are about four or five of them over there, so I am going to separate them in the garden, spread them apart a little bit, so perhaps I will get some celery to grow. We'll see how it happens. So right here, this is my pea trellis from last year. And this is a great spot for peas because I had some eh, squash I put on the ground here that didn't do too well. So I moved them out after the potatoes were done. Obviously I need to come in here and I'm gonna be starting some hay bale gardening down on that end since I didn't get my raised beds moved last year. That'll be a fun experiment. And cheap since I already have the hay, I don't have to bring in more soil or anything like that. So here, I'm gonna plant peas on this side of the trellis. Last year I had peas on both sides and this side was shaded and stunted some because the peas on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant peas on the west side of the trellis. Ooh, sorry, hair. Um, and then I'm gonna come in under these and plant some lettuces and some other shade lovers. They'll get morning sun, which is pretty bright out here. There's really no respite from it, but they will be then shaded in the afternoon and that may help some of the lettuces last a little longer. At least that's my hope. So I'm gonna grab some lettuces and get them in the ground right now.
never grown this before. And as I said when I was talking about in my video about the seeds I'm excited about, I'll link that down below. Um, this Orak, Orak, I still have no idea how to say it. Someone help me with that if you know. Um, I am super excited about this. And I'm gonna be planting about half of the closest end of the bed with this because I really want to have a lot of good greens for salads and things because I really don't like buying that stuff in the store right now for many reasons I'm sure you know about um, and I never have I love the fresh stuff best so I'm gonna plant this and then I'm gonna wait a couple weeks and plant some more on the other half of the bed because then I'll have succession planting which is which will give me a lot more options as far as keeping my greens um, in a steady supply Sorry, lots of little splinters. All right, so I've got a lot of greens planted. I planted three different kinds, uh, two different kinds of lettuce, a spinach and the auroch. And I have some more lettuce seeds somewhere, but I think I left them upstairs. So I'm gonna move on to something else right now. Let's try a different bed. I'm also soaking my peas. I've never done that before. My pea seeds, they are seeds that I saved from last year and I'm gonna get into the ground. They're Oregon sugar pod. Um, snap peas which I love and I'm gonna get those in I thought I'd try soaking them I saved enough that if something doesn't work out with that if that makes some mold I've never actually planted out in the garden quite this early so I'm excited to see what happens and again if everything doesn't come up I have more seeds that I can just get in the ground so I'm gonna move to a different bed and decide what I'm planting there I'll be back better than bending over I guess. I need a taller, I think, uh, tripod-y thing. Um, I'm gonna get some Chinese red radish, red meat radish in, along with some purple top, uh, purple top white globe turnip. I'm gonna get some golden beets, which are my absolute favorite beets. I have a selection of other beets that I also need to get in the ground. Sorry, slouching. And I have some carrot, cosmic purple that I want to get into the ground. They were beautiful and there's some pictures on my Instagram if you want to see what they look like when they are grown. Absolutely gorgeous and super tasty. I'm gonna plant these I think in the center bed. Mm, actually I'm gonna plant them in the bed where the broccoli and the cabbage were having so much issues. I don't think I want to put any brassicas in the bed that I had stuff in the beds that I had things brassicas in over the winter because I don't know what bugs are there that are getting them yet have no idea and again didn't have that problem at all with my brassicas last year it's been a semi-mild winter for the most part um, we've had a few cold snaps but lots and lots of temperatures in the 50s um, so a lot of bugs did not get killed off as well as they usually would or as well as we hope they would or yeah there's just a lot of pests around it seems so uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna plant these in one of the beds that had the brassicas in it so that I do not put any brassicas back in those beds because that would be the last thing I wanna do if there's already an insect issue in there. I'm not sure how the beets and the radishes will do in there, but it can't hurt to try. All right, let's flip around. My phone is about to die and I really wanna get seeds in the ground, so I'm not gonna go back in and charge it and come back out and finish this up. I'm gonna just keep on planting. I really appreciate you stopping by and just taking a peek at what I'm getting ready for the spring. I'll give you an update on what's in my beds and what else I've gotten done. And I will probably do some more filming tomorrow and see how I edit this all together to make sense of two weekends full of some serious getting ready for spring work. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you come back again so we can do some more growing together.